What up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with some more Bleach. Today we're doing episodes 49 through 52. We are skipping episode 50 because that is filler. I'm super excited. Soul Society, I know people have been hyping it up, but it has still been blowing my expectations out of the water. Remember, if you guys want early access up to 16 episodes as well as the full uncut versions of these episodes, check out that Patreon down below. We are live on Twitch watching this with chat right now. It is such a vibe. I'm telling you, come on over and leave a follow. Twitch.tv slash Dapper Darius. And if you don't mind, Please check out my social medias, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, all at Dapper Darius. Much, much, much appreciated. I'm not going to waste any more time. Bleach, episodes 49 through 52. Let's do it. All right, here we go. Immediately starting with that girl, Rukia. She ended off with that, that dream of that night, with Sir Kyan. Mm. We got a flashback going on. This is how her and Kyan first met. I won't lie to you, I never thought I would actually get to hear Kyan speak or a flashback of him. This is Ganji's brother, right? I didn't realize he was a lieutenant as well. This is anything but. I like his personality so far, man. It makes me sad thinking he's not here anymore, but... This is one of my favorite songs in all of Bleach, I won't lie to you. See, hearing stuff like that makes me so curious about his death, and... Obviously, Ganju blames Rukia, but... <laughs> I'm so curious. These guys are always hilarious. So Kayan's not only very welcoming, very cool. It's also a strong uh, lieutenant taking down these hollows. From how she grew up, this is a very cool lieutenant to have. So I'm so curious how he dies. Miyako. Is Miyako Kayan's wife? Wow. I mean, she seems very kind so far. Now I'm double curious, man. I, don't, I haven't seen Miyako in present day either. For reconnaissance mission. I think it's a little nerve wracking that I haven't. I could be on crack, but I haven't heard of Miyako in the present day, you know. And Rukia looks up to her, idolizes her. Is she unconscious? Her life's not in danger? Everyone else died? I really don't like the way her body just got up right there. I would like to assume that this isn't actually Miyako and like her body is being taken over by a hollow or something, but she is butchering soul reapers right now. Kyan comes and stops her. Seems like her body is fighting back or she inside that what whatever's going on. This is some guys. Can we stop her from killing people? <laughs> I don't want to pause it because I don't want to foreshadow myself or get myself into a dark hole, but I was doing some editing recently and it was, uh, it was like a week or so ago and it was the episode that Ichigo went against the Grand Fisher and it was, you know, obviously the, the anniversary of his mom's death and they showed the flashback when Ichigo tells Rukia to not get involved. This is a fight for honor. It's a fight for pride or whatever he says. I didn't know it at the time when I was watching it, but editing, I was like, it shows a flashback of Rukia talking to Ukitake, and he agrees, like, you shouldn't get involved. Some people need to fight for their pride. Some people need to fight for their honor. And now I think that's related to Kain and maybe Miyako, which gets me excited to rewatch this show and how much they've, like, foreshadowed stuff from the beginning, you know? Mm. 
This makes me a little nervous. Is that her Soul Reaper cloak? What is she fucking metamorphosizing? What the fuck is going on? This is what I was nervous about, man. Because he was saying it's uh, it's hurting Miyako, his girl, his wife's pride, you know? So I do know sometimes you have to fight for one's honor, one's pride. I don't think at the cost of your own life, though. This thing has killed everyone it's ran into so far, you know? Are we trying to say he ate Miyako? There's... That's dark. If we're saying he just... Yeah, I would be doing the same thing as Kai am. Whipping out the Bankai if I have to. Man, kill this motherfucking hollow. Oh, is that what you're not supposed to do? Nejibana. Ooh. Ooh. What? That's just a broken ability against Soul Reapers. This is what I saw. <sighs> yeah, I didn't know it at the time when I was watching this, but it makes much more sense how this compares to Ichigo when it's talking about Ichigo fighting for his mom, Kayan fighting for his wife, you know? <laughs> Meanwhile, I, I, I certain I disagree with certain aspects of that, but I do respect Ukitaka. I really do for that, you know? And Kayan's going crazy right now. Beloved wife's honor, man. Oh, yeah. He's going in his veins. Oh, he it's so weird how he, like, breaks apart. And now it's going to be even harder because we're going to be forced to what looks like... We're going to be... We're going to be forced to kill what looks like Kayan. So it's going to be so much harder. I would be doing the same thing. I would at least think if there's a way to save Kayan, but... Perfusion of spiritual entities now. It could never be undone. He's like, if you say so. Literally. Respectfully, if that's the only thing we can do, you know? Kayan would not want us to let you just li linger in his body. Right? Kain would want us to kill him. Oh, his his illness, his sickness. We cannot let him get away. Genuinely. He did it. It's completely understandable why this episode is called Rookie's Nightmare. And it makes the whole Ganju brother Rukia thing so much deeper, you know? Damn, man. I only knew him for half an episode, but I fuck with Kayan, bro. Like I said, he was a good guy. Kind of that outgoing, super just fun personality, you know? Makes a lot more sense why she just feels like that in general and wants to just use her last days to just spare Ichigo and make sure he's not in, like, damn, man, that's... that was a depressing ass episode, I won't lie. You're wild for that. But now I want a whole Byakuya flashback to know why he's so much of an asshole. Very stoic, we'll say. interesting damn man damn that was a depressing ass episode immediately into this all right we skipped episode 50 so this should be 51 so we got hitsugaya rangiku we got gin with kira i don't know where momo is that's quite the crazy title card
Don't listen to Yachiro. No. no. Don't listen to Yachiro. Yachiro, do not do it. Okay. Your instincts are usually pretty horrible when it comes to directions, Mr. Zoro Pachi, but hey. I want to know more about the aspects of the butterflies. I know they use the black butterfly for messages messages and stuff. <laughs> Kimbachi's here. <laughs> you bull cut narcissist. That's funny. Don't say and you are like we didn't beat you last time. Okay. Okay, buddy. Or he may have been dragged around at 800 miles an hour. <laughs> what the hell is wrong with Yachiru? He is so funny. Isana. Oh. I was just saying I want a Byakuya flashback. Who is Hisana? That's the nicest I've ever heard him talk about anything. That was an amazing slide. Love this dude. Uh, I was saying I don't want Ruki to be executed, but I do kind of want to see the Soku Q in action. I won't lie. <laughs> Oof. Most gangster duo right here. That was kind of a bar. Am I crazy? Have I gotten her name? Who is this? I do not like this fat boy eating some cookies. Talking about the murder so nonchalantly. Squad 2, the only captain I don't have down. Interesting. This is obviously Shunsui and Goat. I like how every lieutenant and I don't want to miss anything. So I'm pausing. I like how every lieutenant and every captain one has a different relationship. Whether it's Komamura and uh, Tetsuzaimo, whether it's the new squad captain two we just saw, and she was very willing to go against her own squad if needed to be. But I like not only that lieutenants and the captains have very distinct unique relationships amongst all the squads but i like how they have different thoughts and ideas on whether this execution is right or not some of them obviously agree some of them don't some of them don't care very interesting each person has their own motivations characteristics since we always just does as he pleases you know i'm curious what he's gonna do He's not going to go. Maybe he's going to speak out about it. Kenpachi just wants fucking Ichigo again. I love how they animate spiritual pressure. Got Tosin. He technically is breaking the rules, but I didn't think he was like leaving with them. Like, we're just using them so we can get to Ichigo and then kill them all. Iba, Hisiki, Komomura, and Tosin. Yeah, they have two captains to our one. Okay. All right, Kampachi. Okay, Kampachi. Okay. Love me some flash step. He's really about that action. He's really about that smoke. <laughs> hey, man. I respect it. You about that action, man. I'm... Is this actually going to happen? Like, are we actually going to get a captain be captain? Fight? 
mean, I was shocked when I got Hitsugaya versus Gan, you know? <laughs> Not only your honor, but your sanity's gone too. You're just insane. You're a crackhead. That's facts. <laughs> you never even had it to lose. <laughs> like, I've never been sane. What are you talking about? Of course, of course they stayed. Of course they do. Ooh. I did not know it was a little little long standing little beef right there. You tried to be lieutenant and squad eleven couldn't do it? Transfer to seven? All right, Kampachi. Okay, Komamura. Oh my, any Hiko. All right, ten ten, relax. Now, how was Kimpachi just gonna? How was he gonna skate that off? Okay. I mean, it's not that I'm doubting you guys, but it is Kimpachi. He just tanked those? I thought he would have blocked it or dodged it. He just said, fuck all that. Oh. Kimpachi's one of the best shit talkers in anime, no no joke. Like he's a he's a great shit talker. Back to the training with Renji. Even she doesn't know, she hopes. Yeah, actually, they're not lying. It literally is today. We gotta get some shit done. We gotta beat Zangetsu. kind of analogy she about to make he's not lying she's saying no lies mm. he can feel it that's why he will attain it he, he has the potential. He has the necessities willing. Ooh, as they cut to the Sokyoku. No. Thank thank the Lord we're watching one more. Because. All right. This is episode 52. We're cutting immediately to the title card. We did have a new opening. I couldn't watch it though. Spoilers, I was told. Right back to it. Zangetsu. Our main goal was to find the right sword out of this minefield of swords, right? Whichever one's the actual Zanpakuto. Ichigo. As we transition to another fight going on, it looks like. Renji's okay. He's not killing them. He's just disarming them, breaking their Zanpak Do's. They can recover later, but... My man, Renji looks gangster right now. Like I said, he's grown on me so much since I first met him. I really did not like him at first. Yeah, we're not gonna let that queen die. We're not gonna let that happen. W Renji, W Renji. Is it Byakuya? Would not surprise me. Yes, it is. If there's one person who's gonna stop you and let Rukia die, it's gonna be Byakuya. 
I hate that. Because Pyaki already doesn't care what happens to Renji. He was about to be cool with him dying too. I respect the amount of huevos you must have to say that to his face. That flashed up. They're actually going at it. Renji's actually gonna go against his captain to save her. Immediately intercepts. I'm trying to remember Renji's uh, Zanpakuto. Is it Zabimaru? Something like that? Interesting. Interesting. I really didn't even notice that, that he did call out Zabimaru without saying its name. So... As we cut back over, oh, we're getting some great training going on. Ichigo's about to be different. Of course he does. Kihio Zabimaru. It's like an extension of like a skeletal serpent i love the design it fits renji so well but byakuya does not seem phased at all every joint can separate what's going on man all right renji i see you big dog i see you big dog i was unfamiliar with your game Slam him right into the ground. Senbon Zak, the cherry blossoms. Sever it at all those joints. All those joints can then, can they recollect? Right back into it? I kind of like that a lot. All right, Zabimaru's not done yet. And then just recollected them. Interesting. Interesting. Okay, Renji. <laughs> I'll already take that as a slight dub. Yaku said we wouldn't be able to make him get on his knee. Akudo number 33. So Katsui. Okay. That was a mid level keto. And without a spiritual chant. That is what they say. On Generally, it takes 10 years to really master it. I get exactly what Byaku is saying. I'm just impressed that Renji was able to reach this level in the amount of time he did, you know? Give him another 10 years, my boy's going to be disgusting. Am I going to get to see it? Bunkai. I won't lie, I have goosebumps right now. What in the Mongekyo Sharingan? Scatter. Kageyoshi. Instead of a thousand petals from one sword, it's like tens of thousands of petals from tens of swords. You just die in a vortex of cherry blossom blades. It literally just cuts everything. You can't even see it. Oh my god. Renji? Renji, big dog? Renji, big dog? That's a...
pretty busted move. As one watches the wind pass, that stand there frozen, and be swept away. Ooh. Why is this show so poetic when it comes to shit like that? Your fangs will never reach me. One, if he tries to capture it, it'll only sink in the water and drown. Alright. That was one of the best fights in the show so far. My man, Byakuya, never ceases to impress me. Even the broken joints, just the... Okay, we're just going back to normal Zanpakuto. Shout out Renji, the fact that he's still standing. I got a lot of respect for Renji. Did not know that. I just assumed it meant they were out of like energy for a little bit. They needed to recharge. Are we being serious? Because Renji, nah. That's my boy. Sadly, yes. Sadly, yes. Sadly, he was. You truthfully did have no chance, but I, like I said, I respect you for trying, for fighting your damn heart out, my friend. I love how connected they are in that. They always be beefing, but they will fight to the ends of the earth to save Rukia. I do love those transitions. On my soul. They're both well surpassing their limits to go. If Renji catches Byakuya off guard right here, Tell what happened. Oh, man. That was a nice try, Renji. NTNT, my friend. You just weren't able to. I don't think he had enough spiritual energy left to do that, but the Akuya definitely was caught off guard. Well done. Your fangs would have been able to bite me. Wow, right after saying right after saying they wouldn't. This is the most compliments we've ever seen Byakuya give. As Rukia is still being walked to the executioner's block. Oh. oh, these episodes are pissing me off now, man. Nah. If there's one person I genuinely am cool with getting cut down, it's fucking again, bro. <sighs> I'm pissed. New ending, too? So, this episode session was only three instead of four, but it didn't hit any less because of that. I know I say it like a hundred times throughout these reactions, but it's it always shocks me how poetic this show is when it comes to just certain lions, you know, like Orihime, when she's talking about um can i if i became the rain can i connect to people's hearts like the never intersecting sky and earth when it comes to uh Byakuya saying even a beast can look upon the moon's reflection in the water but if you try to capture it you know you'll just sink and drown like it's like there's a lot of there's a lot of poeticness when it comes to the, the lines in the show and i always thoroughly enjoy it i got to see two bonkais this session and a rukia flashback that's how you know it was a w time but Renji's, I am thoroughly impressed with his progress, both physically with his strength and mentally when it comes to Ichigo, when it comes to standing up to Byakuya, saving Rukia. I'm loving Ichigo's progress. I cannot wait to see his Bankai. That's the one thing. I'm so, 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 so glad I did not get spoiled on anything. I know not a single Bankai. I know there was something called Bankai going into the show, but I didn't know a single one. I'm so excited to see what Ichigo's looks like, what that entails. Like, uh, what's his name? Um, Kurotsuchi, I really liked his. 
Yakuya, I really liked his and Renji. So like, it just gets me way too excited to see more Bankais. Um, I want to see Komamuras. I want to see Kenpachis. I want to see ah, Kenpachis is a little different. I want to see Tosin. I want to see Hitsugaya's. I think we saw Hitsugaya Shikai, but we haven't seen his Bankai. I, I'm I'm tangenting. Like I said, great episodes. Loved them. Love the music, the vibes, the fights, the characters, the development, everything going on. Kenpachi right now is. I love that boy so much, but he wants all that smoke. I love him. Hopefully you guys enjoyed these reactions. If you did, please leave a like on this video. Let me know your thoughts down below. Check out that Patreon. Like I said, early access, full length. Come on over to the Twitch if you guys want to watch this live with us in the future. It's always a vibe. I appreciate you. Don't forget to drink some water. Tell someone you love them. Have a great day. We just got some gifted subs from, oh my God, you guys are incredible. Uh, okay, okay. Thank you guys. Have a great day. Peace out.